ferme. Hi there, boomers. This is what we built last time. This is the small town of uh, Chilham, which is gonna be the main town in the build. There's a town on the other side of the river and uh, industry on the other side. But today we are gonna start to build a new town a bit further away. And that's why we needed to buy some land. I chose this uh, lakeside here. I only had two, uh, three areas to purchase, so I started with two. We started quite fast to build, just made a really bad intersection from the highway. That's gonna change at some point, but it's gonna, gonna give us a headache if we keep it like that. Uh, I built the main road and I tried to keep the main roads a bit bigger this time, because I think in the, in the Chilham, I'm using too many alleys, so it that might be a quite a big problem in the like further away when we progress the game. But I tried to break the break the grids again with weird weird shapes in here, so it adds to the like uniqueness of the town. Started zoning quite quite early, adding some shops on the main road. Then I needed to add the utilities here, so water, electricity, and the sewage. Uh, the problem is that because I can't purchase all uh, areas yet, at ma uh, many areas at least, uh, I can't connect it to the Chilham, so uh, I need to make them uh, separate here. Which is uh, quite costly, but you know, that, that happens, so we have water, electricity, we are buying the electricity from the grid, from the other towns, and then the sewage is pouring straight into the lake, which is not ideal, but there was no other options for now. Then because this is the, like the central area, I wanted to add some uh, medium row house density here, like a bit more medium density, trying, trying things like that. And uh, then this intersection was a pain in the ass. I think there was uh, there was some kind of bug that I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't delete the road at all. And uh, I played it quite uh, quite a long time to get it right because I just couldn't delete it for some reason. So I needed to make like other roads. And I finally somehow got it, got it, uh, got it out, destroyed it, and then I could make it again, like, uh, differently. Some more shops there, and I wanted to make, like, uh, smaller plots again, zoned uh, smaller plots. And then I tried to, here, I tried to get the row houses facing the same, same side of the road, which is quite annoying to get but uh, I fiddle it with uh, quite long uh, there's I think there's still no no way to get the zoning facing the right right road right so uh, I hope they fix that at some point or, or at least add like a add like a mod Some more uh, lakeside row houses here. I love the row houses; they look so good in the game, and I just love love building them everywhere. Really, I tried to like uh, limit it a bit because if you only got row houses, it's gonna look like a bit weird. This is the main road that's gonna continue to the forest up north. Uh, there's a good place to. There's like a lot of uh, trees and forests, so like forest industry might come in handy there. Might build that there. Then just smaller plots again, zoning, smaller areas, adding some uh, walkways there. Because 
I think it adds something. It adds something and you can like, uh, it's easier to decorate once they are like uh, cut to smaller pieces, you know? Then I built this uh, off-road here, uh, going, I think it's gonna connect to the highway in the end. I might need to upgrade it to a bigger bigger road because the alley is a bit too small for the, for it to be like an outside connection from the town. There's gonna be some industry on that side too. As you can see, there's a lot of trees here, so I think it's a good place to add some uh, forestry. Uh, these, I, I made these uh, pathways here, and I think they're gonna broke some of the zones. I got some weird... I don't know if it's a glitch, or is it just that you have the crossing on the road and it breaks the breaks the zone on the other side I don't know what what is going on there and there's like uh, there's gonna be like few plots that for some reason just didn't build anything uh, then I build this like a uh, kind of like a park area on the on the lakeside just trying things I haven't really built this so uh, I know I feel it with a bit in the end I I think I build it uh, build a small bridge over there we go there's the bridge boom Sewage is pouring in the lake too there. Nice. Then added more grids. These are... Uh, I think in here it started because I, I was not making like uh, square grids. It started to getting like really... Really uh, annoying at some point. The zoning. Because the zoning get, got broken and you can't face it to the road. So I was fiddling quite a lot with this these zones i think this is not even the, the like the worst one i tried to break the zones with the with the alleys or like the pathways to get the zoning right uh here i i tried to build some uh medium density on the on the lake just to try how it looks because i don't want like a uh, big housing like too tall of the house anywhere I think this is the worst one this is the worst one I was feeling so much with this and in the end I think I just destroyed everything and started all over again <laughs> a zoning just doesn't it's really annoying that you can't get the zoning on the face to face where I where you want to. I think this was uh this was the end product. And I think I broke the grid in a way that the road is not 90 degrees. I built a bigger medium density building there, and I think it's gonna be too big, so it might I might need to change it at some point. But you will see in the end. These are the test houses I build on the on the lakeside. I think they look quite good. I think I'm gonna leave them here. That's the biggest one. It's like a bit too big for the whole area, I think. Added some trees here. Didn't really decorate in a way. Just added uh, some foliage. Then zoned some more areas. Some more medium density buildings, I think I, I added there. Then we got the next milestone, large large village. And that gonna mean that we can build some, uh, I think chicken, chicken farms. And some uh, other industries, which is great.
Small, small, small plots here. Try to make some weird, weirder rows here. Just try things. I think this is gonna be medium density housing, but uh, I'm figuring it out because I don't know how big the houses are, so I don't want them to be like huge. Uh, then we bought a few more areas on the side and uh, we built some uh, chicken farms. Because it's gonna be like a village build, so you need to have like a lot of farms here. And these are like the first tries to see what kind of... Uh, how, how they will look. You can see these kind of like plots in the Central Europe quite a lot. All kind of like surrounded with roads. I wanted to make like a tree zone here too. I'm not sure if I will add like a, like forestry here, but I just think it's it's interesting. And uh, you can see those uh, almost everywhere in Finland at least, and like in Germany if you watch uh, Google Maps, you can see a lot of those like uh, just tree zones. Then some detailing and adding some rows and things like that. I was... Uh, I think the 3x3 three three were quite nice houses, so I added these there. And the alley in between. I would like the alleys to be like... Uh, you know, you could park there. That could be nice. That's not possible yet, but we can think like there's a parking lot in those alleys. Then some shrubbery, shrubbery inside there. And that's it. This is how it looks. I don't have a uh, name for this this town yet, so if you have any suggestions, I could uh, you could add them in the comments. I think it, it became quite a nice nice town. It will be added. I will add more things to it, like farms and things like that. The that's the big house there. I don't think it's gonna be there. Maybe it's like a landmark building though. So it kind of look like looks looks cool. But yeah, this road will lead to like a, maybe like a forestry area. You know, there's a sewage pouring the lake, but I think it. I think it looks good. I'm I'm quite happy with the build so far now. But yeah, if you if you fancy, please subscribe and comment below. I I'm gonna do more of this, so please see you soon.